Well, I think it, it is certainly partly to do to, to do technical reasons. And what we've seen is a very easy trade this year where people have been long oil and short natural gas. And then you've seen a very big unwind of that trade as we get into year end and, and, and therefore a very sharp reaction on, on both sides. But I think the fundamentals are actually not that changed. So, you know, certainly from our point of view, we've been positive on some petrochemical names, on refining, and some of the integrated EMP names. I don't see that the investment case changes for that. So whilst there is a bit more supply coming through than we expected, and I think some of this, you know, some of the, some of the issues around the Iranian sanctions may not come to fruition, given the number of san given exemptions that have been given. It's a very diluted form of what we expected it to be, and so I think that will have some impact in terms of the supply outlook. But I think the demand is still fairly robust, and so at this point, I'm, I'm, I think the risk is actually more to the upside than than the downside as we look into the year end. So what could be a game changer here? Because sitting at the ADAPEC 2018 conference in Abu Dhabi for the last three days uh, and really speaking to these industry insiders and speaking to these ministers on and off camera, there was a real feeling there of, of worry about not only just the future of OPEC and how relevant they're going to continue to be, although it seems as if they're more relevant during times like these than, than when their prices are higher, but also the question, of course, of whether or not they need to do more to get ahead of this cycle, because it seems as if they've lost control of the narrative. Yeah, I mean, if you remember that, for many of these, com many of these countries, I mean, they need oil to be at least where it is around today's level. I mean, to make their budget balance, if you look at the ambition that Saudi has in terms of infrastructure and, and, and changing that economy away from oil, where I think about 70% of, of revenues are still oil linked, um, then, then I think you know, the, the, the game changer, you know, to answer your question, is really, is really what, what Saudi does, what, what OPEC does. And I think there is still a chance that they will put through a cut. And that could change the sentiment on oil quite sharply in the short term. And I think that's, that's still a very plausible scenario. I and mean, you look at where, you know, what, what's been said um, in, in recent days. I, I wouldn't dismiss that as, as something that would really change the market in, in, in the short term. So I would still say fairly, fairly positive on, on the oil price. And I think refiners, especially anything connected to middle distillates. So as we see IMO 2020 coming through, we see demand for diesel coming, being, being stronger. We think that refining is still, you know, still a good area in, 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 in the right segments. And then beyond that as well, if you look at some refiners, the Chinese refiners ramping up now, there's going to be an oversupply of PX, which is a raw material for some of these polyester names. So that still seems to be a good area to be as well. So I think in selected pockets, the oil price where it is today is, is still pretty, pretty positive for those names. Hey everybody, it's Hadley Gamble from our new CNBC Middle East Bureau in Abu Dhabi. Thanks for stopping by. Now to watch more, you can try one of the videos that just popped up on your screen. And don't forget to subscribe.